Am fam, these are my most used products of 2022. I went through everything. I looked at what was hitting pan, what I know I was utilizing the most. And as far as I'm concerned, these are the most used, which means for me, these were the best of 2022. Let's get into it. The first thing here, Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Balm and Universal. I have shade eight, that's a balm too. But as you can see, there's hardly nothing left in here. If you are a true oily skin girl, I'm not talking combo where, oh yeah, I have some dry areas, I'm oily in the T-zone. No, I mean full face oil, no dry patches, oily on the coldest day of the winter. That is me. This is your best friend. I am someone who does not believe in mattifying primers, oil control primers. Um, a lot of people think that I'm crazy for that and it's probably very unusual to hear a makeup artist say that, but just from my personal experience, having oily skin, utilizing so many different mattifying primers, I have yet to find anything that actually controls the oil for a good amount of time. This does it. If you don't have this, you need this. This is something that I will be utilizing on myself. I need to buy another one and I need to buy one for my client kit because it's amazing. Now, my most used foundations. 2022 was interesting for me with foundations because I didn't really try a bunch of foundations and then I was also in a funk where I didn't even want to deal with putting foundation on because I just got to a point where I felt like my skin looked better without it. Like the foundation was making my skin look worse. However, these three most utilized the best foundation of 2022 for me, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Foundation. Beautiful. This stuff stood up at my little brother-in-law's graduation in June outside on the football field in the South. This is amazing. I love this product. Another one that I used a lot and I was shocked how much I loved it. The Lancome Care and Glow. Now, yes, it says glow. However, hear me out. It gives you just like the most beautiful skin-like finish. Just as long as I'm using my Danessa Myricks, I'm Gucci. I don't have to worry about oil control, but this is fantastic. And then my third most used foundation, and I probably started using this like crazy in September. I haven't really talked about it much on my channel, but the Lancome Stick Foundation, y'all, I have just transitioned to simplicity. <laughs> I just, I don't be having time. Like, I would much rather spend the time on doing makeup on my clients and making sure they're looking good than for me to sit down and do a full beat face on myself. Of course, I have my moments, but I like this because, first of all, Lancome and their shades for women of color just clutch. They're amazing. This is simple. I just put this on, blend it out, and we Gucci. Of course, Danessa Marks Yummy Skin Balm has to be used with this in order for this to not get crazy greasy on me. Concealers. This was a tricky one. I had to really think and figure out, okay, when did I get this? How many times have I used it? This is my second one. So first things first, Pat McGrath Concealer. This is my second one. Shout out to Katie for sending this to me. Thank you so much. I love this concealer. The next one that I have here is the Smashbox Studio Skin. This is my second one. I absolutely love this and I utilize this on my clients as well. The next one is probably the most... I think for me, exciting one of 2022, and that's why Black Opal, this brightening concealer, affordable, goes on like a dream, blends out easily, and the brightening effect that it has, so, so beautiful. So if you really like that full glam look, you want that nice popping under eye, this is going to be good. I am someone that typically does not care for an ultra bright under eye. However, this concealer, this is bae, this is good. And then I'm going to throw this away as soon as I'm done filming this video because there is literally nothing left in here. I have been scraping this. This is the Hourglass Airbrush Vanish Concealer. As soon as I am done with another concealer, I am going to be purchasing another one of these because fantastic. Now, let's get into some cream products. 2022 was the year of cream products and cream liquid highlighters for me, which that is very unusual. I typically don't like those products on my skin, but going back to it, Danessa Meyer, Jimmy Skin Balm, I utilize this whether I have on makeup or not. On my, I'll have to do a video on like my current makeup routine or my like 
simple girl quick girl makeup routine because it's literally this and some liquid highlight y'all like it's just it's a vibe i'm loving it but i have been loving cream blush cream bronzer and liquid highlighter like mwah, chef's kiss um i feel like they look beautiful on the skin they look better on the skin than powder products i i know who am i never thought i would say that but here we are so first thing here this is what i have on my cheeks right now Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I'm actually, when I'm done filming, I'm going to go pick up the shade Believe, I think it is, because it has been out of stock forever and I have been wanting this. I have Love and I have another one. I just don't know where it is, but this is what I have on right now. Um, with these blushes, a little dab will do you. If you are someone who is scared of liquid blush and you put this on, you're going to be shook because the pigmentation that you get with this, you just need a little bit. A little bit's going to take you a long way. My next favorite blush here that I use a lot, this Armani Neo Nude blush in the shade 45. Shout out to my girl Jermaine for getting me on this and I still need to get that other shade. I love this. I'll put this on my cheeks and a little bit on my eyes and maybe we out the door. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. And then also shout out to Jermaine again because she gave me this. I have another LYS cream blush. I think that one's in the shade Passion, but I like this one in particular because this gives me, it's a little bit lighter than MAC Raisin, but it gives me a cream version of MAC Raisin. This is MAC Raisin right here. This is also one of my favorite blushes, but it gives me a cream version of MAC Raisin and I am into it. Again, blends out like a dream. And both uh, the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, this is matte. And then this one, it, it's a cream, but it's matte. It doesn't leave me looking crazy dewy. And I believe that's all for, yeah, that's going to be all for cream liquid blushes. But now we're going to get into some cream bronzers. This was the product that didn't make sense to me. I thought it was stupid. And y'all know me. I'm the type of person where if I'm wrong, I have no problems coming back and saying, you know what? I was wrong about that. And also, it's okay to change your mind. I don't know for some reason in the land of social media, YouTube, you say one thing and then if later on you change your mind, people want to come for you. It's kind of like, have you never changed your mind about something? Have you never grown? We're supposed to grow, right? Anywho. Makeup by Mario, Soft Sculpt Skin Enhancer. As you can see, she is loved. If you want that your skin but better, like uber bronzy look, I tried wearing this the other day, and right now where I'm at on the melanin spectrum, I am just not deep enough for this. Basically, this is very warm and very red, and since I don't have any sun, I'm not deeper, it can kind of pull too red on my skin right now, but baby, as soon as we got a little bit more melanin on, as soon as we've been in the sun for a little bit, love this bronzer right here, the Charlotte Tilbury. First of all, I'm a Charlotte Tilbury stan. I am a fan. This cream bronzer, oh my goodness. I have my personal one. I have some in my client kit. Amazing. I love these because they go on easy and they're easy to blend out. I think that's always the hang up with a lot of the cream products is some of them are just hard to move. They're not easy to maneuver, but this one is phenomenal. Now we're going to get into, oh, here we go. Another product, Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is in the shade Medium Deep, which is unfortunate because this is the deepest shade. Charlotte Tilbury needs to do two things with this product. One, change the component. Don't change the product itself. Don't change the formulation because this is what I have on today. And again, I am not someone that likes a crazy, hard, strong, chiseled face. But I do like to sculpt, and this tone is the perfect tone for me. Um, I've heard a lot of people, even girls that have fair skin, say that they feel like this kind of disappears on them. I don't know. It doesn't disappear on my skin. Like, I love it, especially for, like, nose chiseling or whatnot on the sides. It's just, it's beautiful. She needs to switch the component, figure that aspect out, and she needs to come out with at least two other shades because she only has two of these, uh what fair light medium deep if you're darker than me this is not going to work on you and that is unfortunate because it's a really good product so miss tilbury get that sorted thank you so much next another charlotte product 
Again, who am I? Liquid highlighters. Never thought this would be a thing. I have this placed on top of the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. This is Peach Gasm. I have been wearing this every single day for probably, not every single day, every time I do my makeup, regardless if I'm doing just like a little bit of yummy skin balm in this or a full face in this. I've been wearing this, I know, every time I do my makeup for the past three months. This is fantastic. I'm also almost out of this. Love the shade. I love how it adds a nice extra just glow from within, although I am oily. 2022, I accepted the fact that I am an oily skin girl. I'm done trying to over mattify myself and I'm just going to work with it. So if my skin wants to glow, then baby, we're going to glow. We're going to turn it up. So I love this. And then my other favorite liquid highlighter is by Rare Beauty. And this one is in the shade Reflect. And it is stunning. Same thing with this. A little bit is going to take you such a long way. If Charlotte Tilbury could switch her components to this, that would be way better because this squeezy method here is it is not not the vibe not the vibe all right and then another blush another most warm blush here nars orgasm x over the summertime y'all know this is my jam i wore this out and i am ready to just skip over winter and just go ahead and get to summer because i hate being cold i don't like winter it's just doom, gloom, cold, my bones don't like it, it's no fun. But anywho, I'm ready to rock this because this is such a beautiful shade. All right, and then for some setting powders here, I'm going to be buying another one of these. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Brightening Powder. And as you can see, I have already hit pan. I am in shade number two. When these came out, people went crazy because they were only two shades. For me as a makeup artist, it makes sense because I only carry those two shades, a shade that is more so for light to medium and then a yellow tone shade because if I'm working on someone that has my, my skin tone or darker, this is going to be the powder that I use. However, obviously everyone's not a makeup artist. So again, Charlotte Tilbury, I understand it from a makeup artist standpoint, but from a consumer standpoint that might not understand like color theory and how things work, give them an extra shade, sis. You can do it. This is bomb, brightening. I use this under the eyes, sides of my nose, down the center, any area that you want to bring forward. This is fantastic. And then this here is the Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. This is my second one and I need another one. And this one is in the shade number three. I have been using this to set all over my face, regardless if I am wearing a liquid foundation or not. This is what I've been using. I like, I personally prefer pressed powders over loose powders just simply because I hate the mess. I don't think loose powders are bad. Um, the thing with loose powders is sometimes you can really get overzealous with them really quickly. And you, once you got too much, then it becomes this whole thing. But me personally, I just hate the mess of it. So pressed powder is just easier, less mess. All right, powder bronzer that was most used. Charlotte Tilbury. This is shade number three. This is the shade that I utilize right now. Um, shade number four is far too warm and far too deep for my skin tone right now. So shade number three, beautiful. Again, I love this shade because it's a perfect brown. It doesn't pull too red. It's just chef's kiss and then this is such a massive ass pan like wow that's a lot of product <laughs> and then surprise surprise hourglass ambient lighting palette i love this um i have been using this on my eyes so i have it on my eyes today this has been part of my quick and simple girl makeup look I love it. I like this palette a lot. You can use it on your cheeks as well. I use it on my eyes predominantly and it is bomb, bomb, bomb. And then my most used eyeshadow palettes. And also keep in mind, I know there were a lot of products that came out last year. A lot of things that I love and you don't see them here. It's not that I dislike them. I just want to truly focus on my most used items. So coming in for eyeshadows. 
Patrick Ta. This is Major Dimension, the first one. I have the second one as well. That one lives in my client kit. This one is mine. This is my most used eyeshadow palette. I love this. Patrick Ta is one of my favorite makeup artists right there with Makeup by Mario. They are just phenomenal. This eyeshadow palette is bomb. And then my Natasha Denona Mini Bronze. If you follow me, you know that I was trying to downsize my client kit and I depotted a lot of my Natasha Denona eyeshadows. And a lot of them ended up getting broken just due to me traveling with work. And so my, my bronze palette, which was my favorite Natasha Denona palette, got smashed up pretty bad. So I was just kind of like, should I buy another one or just get the mini? And I have been totally content with the mini. This, you just can't go wrong with it. It's amazing. All right, then we're gonna jump into some brow products. My most used brow products are the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim, which is what I have on right now. And then this was one that came in towards the end of the year. And this is, well, no, this is, I don't know. I started utilizing this towards, what, the summer to now. Shout out to Jermaine again. She gave me this one. This is the Anastasia Brow Pen in dark brown. So it looks like it is a felt tip liner, but it's made for brows. The This is the only thing that I have ever used that will give me true brow-like strokes, and I love it. At first, it was really scary because I was thinking, I'm about to have Sharpie brows, and this ain't the move. This is fantastic. I'm gonna probably do like a full on. If y'all want a brow video as far as how I use this, let me know because I haven't done a brow video because I feel like that's one of the main things that is just completely oversaturated on YouTube. However, with this product, game changer. My most used eyeliners, I have these in my personal collection and I use these on clients as well. I have some in there. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last Eyeliners. They are affordable, they are, easily accessible and these are better than a lot of high-end eyeliners um this is what i use on the top and the bottom i prefer i don't like a strong harsh wing line if i'm going to do it i like more of a blown out situation and my liner today is done with this maybelline black liner that cost eight dollars stays on all day doesn't run on me like i said earlier crazy oily skin doesn't budge i'm into it and then last but not least, we've got some lip products. So 2022 was also the year of lip liners for me. I am never, have never been a liquid lipstick girl. Like that's just not my jam. Definitely more so of a lipstick girl, but I have been a liner gloss girl and I love it. I love the look. I love the feel of it. So my most utilized liners are Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in the shade Foxy Brown. And this is just basically like your staple black girl nude liner, Foxy Brown, and then Pillow Talk Intense. This one here, it is like a very, very, almost like dark burgundy brown liner. This, I actually had to pause on this. That's how much I was using it. I had to put it to, to the side. This is my second one of these. This is the Sephora Collection Lip Liner. This is in the shade Molasses. If you can see the trend here, I'm a brown <laughs> liner type of gal. And then my most recent one, this is the one I have on today, and I bought a bunch of these for my kit because they're just so easy to go on. This is the NYX Slide On Lip Liner in the shade Urban Cafe. I have a bunch of MAC lip liners in my kit because those colors are just staples. But even with the MAC lip liners, the traditional wooden ones, sometimes on the lips they tug. This, she just slides on as it's advertised, yes. And then lip products here. Let's see, then I have lipsticks and one lip gloss. So my most worn lipstick was this one. This is in the shade Photo. This is a MAC lipstick. Just, you know, a nice neutral brown. And then my other most worn lipstick is by Charlotte Tilbury. And this one is in the shade Catwalking. It's like a peachy nude. So this one right here, definitely I will use a brown liner and then put this on and she's bomb. And this isn't the exact shade I ran out the other day, but the In My Ex Butter Gloss in the shade Caramel. No, Caramel, excuse me. And then this one is in... Br brownie drip just 
easy, simple, beautiful gloss. Am fam, those are my most used products of 2022. My best of products for 2022 down below in the comments. Let me know if you agree with any of the ones that are my most used that I feel are the best. And then I want you to tell me what your top three most used makeup items were in 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it simple and I will see you in the next video. Peace.